White flag raised, away they go. Over two miles, the Grange Novus Handicap Chase. Taking each other on the early stages, it was Faith Mount Frisco, followed by Chain of Consequence. The leaders are not hanging around. Mount Frisco wins the early exchanges to open up a lead over it was Faith and Chain of Consequence, a long way cleared of Don Daniel and then Juno and Victus Mashon next on the outside of Cosmic Rock onto the ditch, which is fence number three. Mount Frisco up and over from it was faced, chain of consequence had to reach, all cleared of Don Daniel, Juno, Cosmic Rock and Victus Mashon as they make the run out of the back straight. Mount Frisco with a reduced advantage of a couple of lengths over it was faced and chain of consequence. The three with a commanding advantage over the fourth and Daniel, then Juno, Cosmic Rock, and Victus Machon. And then Dutch Schultz at the back, McAlpine, Mick Charney. Long intervals between first and last as they turn in for the next two fences at Mount Frisco. Setting things up from it was Faith and Chain of Consequence, Juno. Moves to dispute the fourth with Don Daniel, then Cosmic Rock, and Victus Mashon, followed by stable companion Dutch Schultz, and then McAlpine and McCharney. On to the first of the two fences in the straight. This fence coming up to fourth. It's Mount Frisco and Liam Quinlan by two lengths to it was Faith, Michael Connor in third, another two lengths back, and Mount Frisco took that fence by chance, a mistake, and gone in Victus Mashon. Over five. Fence that'll be the last one next time. Up okay with Sean Flanagan and Victus Mashon. Finishing next time, another six fences left to jump. And it's Mount Frisco, it was fate, still one and two. And third is Chain of Consequence, Lyndon Daniel, Juno alongside. As they go to the next fence, a gap to Cosmic Rock. After Cosmic Rock is Dutch Schultz, McAlpine and McCharney remains the back marker. Going to the fence at the point at which they started. Six out, Mount Frisco extends the lead. But it was fate, chain of consequence, then Don Daniel. Juno next, then Cosmic Rock, Dutch Schultz, McAlpine, and McCharney. Across the back straight they go. To the first of three, another five lift to jump. In the Grange Nova's handicap chase. Mount Frisco, over that from it was fate who caught it, but survived. In third is Chain of Consequence, a mistake down the line by Dutch Schultz. Going to the middle fence in the back straight, four from the finish, Mount Frisco. Chase still by It Was Faith and Chain of Consequence, a little bit closer in fourth and fifth respectively. Don Daniel and Juno and then Cosmic Rock, who jumped off to the left. And then Mick Charlie, who's overtaken two at the back, McAlpine and Dutch Schultz. The ditch, the far end of the back straight, three from home. And it's Mount Frisco from it was fate back within a length chain of consequence hit that hard and then Don Daniel after Don Daniel is Juno as they make the run to the final half mile with two fences left to jump and they swing in Mount Frisco rejoined by it was fate these two have been occupying the first two positions from flag fall moving into remote third is Don Daniel as they come down the hill for the swing in two left to jump Mount Frisco and it was faith. They're stride for stride. A long way cleared of Don Daniel and then Juno. Round the bend for the final two fences. It was faith. On the outside, it's just the leader on the turn from Mount Frisco. Continuing a long way cleared of Don Daniel, Juno. Mick Charlie is next and then Cosmic Rock. Not many have got into this as they pass the two. Two fences left to jump and it was Faith who regains the lead from Mount Frisco. Don Daniel back in third, then Juno, Cosmic Rock and Mick Charlie. Coming on to the second last, it was Faith from Mount Frisco, Don Daniel is bridging the gap on the pair, and Mount Frisco hit that hard, it was Faith, these two are pretty leg weary with Don Daniel getting them on the outside. As they come to the final fence, it was Faith from Mount Frisco, and here's Don Daniel at the last, and Don Daniel plows through it, Mount Frisco, they're out on their feet, it was Faith, coming home, Juno and Mick Charlie, it's a bunch up and from out of the clouds, Dutch Schultz and Mick Charlie from last to first, let's run them all down. From Dutch Schultz and Juno and then Mount Frisco, Don 
and Daniel, and it was fake. It's the second winner of the week for jockey Kevin Sexton. Kevin, congratulations, beautifully timed. What was what a crazy race. What was going through your head no way around? Uh, it's still gone too quick, pretty much, yeah. Like, I knew they had to stop. Coming down the hill, I didn't think they would, to be honest. I thought I was riding for third. But I was riding to get my lad home everywhere. You know, it's very hard work out there. Obviously, they stopped going to the last. I knew when I landed at the second last and gave him a squeeze, I knew I had a chance of getting them. And I didn't think till I jumped the last, I knew I had them from there. He's actually won a bit cosy in the end, hasn't he? I mean, your fella had won last time and he quite lightly raced. Was there a bit of optimism in the camp before? Uh, look, Dex said to drop him in, riding to come home. Mm. You know, look, I know he'll drop him back and trip and everything, but like I said, it is hard work out there. But it seemed to suit him. He, he jumped beautifully, missed the second last. Other than that, was full perfect. Um, and travelled lovely considering I was actually flat out here so I, I just took him back and waited till he took me into it and like he, he, he's 12 year old so he knows what he's doing probably more than I do Yeah we've seen you do that before obviously famously on the likes of Belfast Band there must be a great buzz when you come through them like that That's always nice and it works yeah <laughs> Well done thanks guys Cheers thanks guys Watch live racing now on racingtv.com